Am I on? Yes, I'm on. Hello, everyone. Just want to take a few minutes to talk about um, one aspect that I keep seeing coming up uh, in your comments on my videos or other videos, somebody else's videos, and that's to do with not preserving the the lines and not allowing them to die, uh, to 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 vanish. And let me just say this. Um, the, the day I decided to go down this road with a uh, specific, not just DDR, but specific bloodlines coming from the, uh, the former East German, uh, the, the GDR or DDR, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, you want to go German, it's Deutsche Demokratische Republik, so that's DDR. Um, I knew, I, well, not that I knew, my, my good friend and my mentor, uh, John Latore, he told me from the very start that the day will come when things will go to a, to a close angle. And I remember back then I was thinking to myself, nah, I'll, John is all the way across the lake, the ocean. <laughs> um, I'm here closer to Germany, to the Czech Republic, uh, Slovakia. Surely I can find some dogs there, you know, some uh, breeder that are, uh, some breeders that are uh, not up to date with technology and the internet and blah 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 and things. I, th I I I was, you know, encouraging myself with the thought that maybe eventually I can I can find uh, some old good bloodline that I can mix with with what what I have, and. Um, so, like I said, I, I knew, I knew that they will come, and I'm pretty much there. I think I can put it like that. But let me, please, let me touch on one aspect, and that, and which is why I do not want to bring in other DDR bloodlines. I'm not gonna go nominal here. I'm not gonna give names because I don't wanna, I don't wanna make enemies by giving names of either dogs uh, or people, you know, breeders or owners. I, I can mention John because he's my, he's my friend and um, he, knows, he knows what I have here and, and, and in my heart. And so uh, I can do that. But other than that, I'm not going to give uh, names. So the thing is, the reason I do not want to do that is because you introduce, you know, by staying with, with, say, two or three specific bloodlines, you keep the same qualities and problems, obviously, Good, goods and bads. But at least you try, you manage to keep at, keep at, uh, at bay uh, specific health situations, like bloat or bad HD, uh, or other, you know, health uh, um, complications. And when you decide to bring in those other bloodlines, uh, just because they're DDR and you still want to have DDR, guess what? You're going to bring in, you're going to, 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 to bring those complications closer to what you have. And believe me, I have seen that firsthand or else I wouldn't be saying this. I know wise, you know, wise guy, uh, guru of the DDR or breeding for that matter. I, I don't call myself specialist in any areas where I'm active. I, I'm a video guy. I produce videos. I will never say I'm top guy. I'm, I'm always learning. Every single day I try and learn. So it's the same with dogs. It's the same with dogs. And uh, I have seen firsthand the, the outcome when you want to, you know, keep the blood around and introduce that bloodline uh, because it's DDR. I have seen things firsthand and um, it's, not, it's not necessarily good. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. It's because, and this, this is the most important thing you should keep from all I'm saying right here, right now. At the end of the day, the one who suffers the most from these, uh, if you wish, experiments 
you know, desires to keep the lines around, blah, 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 blah. That is at the cost of the actual dogs or pups. Because you can never really predict what's ahead. Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. And uh, I have had situations with, with pups. I have tried things. And uh, I had uh, pups that were outstanding at first. And long term, they develop specific complications that had to do with that other bloodline that I brought in. Remember, I said I don't want to give names. And um, well, one of, one of the reasons I don't want to give names is because nobody is, well, no, I shouldn't say like that. Uh, not nobody, but most are not, most have good intentions because they, they want to save the dogs, you know, the bloodline. But, and then you have the other bunch for just simply after maintaining the cash flow. But I'm going to make another video on that because there's some, uh, let me find my words, some bad people out there just, just looking to, to uh, cash in on the label, the, you know, DDR. And by the way, by the way, just because it's a DDR dog, that does not make the dog by default tough. Some of the softest dogs I've seen were DDR. <laughs> DDR dogs, you know, there's no, there's no magic rule, rule, sorry, about uh, the DDR. Uh, but, you know, I, I was planning to say these things uh, on my, um, the DDR GSD A Few Thoughts Part 2. But I, it's, some of the things I read online, some of the comments just make me want to jump in front of the camera and say what I believe. And again, I say this, all we're doing as either owners or breeders, if, if we made any mistakes, it's the dogs, the produced dogs that will uh, ultimately be victims. Uh, no matter how, uh, how good your plan is. And uh, again, I say this, it's, I've, seen, I've seen it firsthand, or else I'll mind my own business. Now, then again, please remember this is, again, I'm no guru, blah, blah, blah. I'm just, I'm just me, and this is just me speaking out of my own journey, my own experiences. And I'm not generalizing. I'm not putting everybody, humans and dogs, into the one big pot. I'm not doing that. But uh, and to conclude, I'm going to say this. As far as uh, keeping the bloodlines, I don't believe in producing specific types of dogs when you have a very deep gene pool. I, 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 I can't understand how you can possibly create specific type of dog when you have so many genes in that pool. Correct me if, if I'm wrong, but uh-uh. If we're going down that, that route, uh, forgive me for saying this, but you're not a breeder, you're a multiplier. And heck, there's so many multipliers out there. One day I'm going to make a video on that. Um, hmm, there was one other thing that was, oh yeah. Talking about talking about saving, you know, pushing forward the bloodlines uh, by using West blood. Yes, that has been already done before, uh, way back in time, and when they brought specific dogs into the DDR, West dogs into the DDR, and I get, I think the toughest DDR dogs had that West blood in the back. We're talking uh, House Himpel comes to mind, uh, obviously Lierberg, and uh, but that was then. I I don't believe the current day West bloodlines are what those. You know, you you know where I'm going with this. I'm a big fan of the old school, and. <laughs> I know I'm going to be bombarded with, uh, oh, you're wrong for, for saying this, but uh, if you ask me, it's gone. 
it's gone. Why do you think nowadays they use Malinois more than German Shepherds? What, 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 why is that? Anyway, uh, yeah. So please remember, please remember. If we made mistakes as breeders, I guess as owners too, ultimately the victim is the actual dog. Have a nice day. God bless you.